finally. video we're going to talk about Desert Ghost, GHI, Redhead, and I might throw in a little Cypress in there if we have a chance. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so everybody I'm sure has seen the Stranger Redhead Spot Nose? I think it was Spot Nose. Stranger Redhead Spot Nose Head Clown that uh, Canova. I say it right? Yeah. I'm not used to saying Canova. It's yeah. always been Justin. <laughs> Canova made. Um, I mean, it's a crazy looking snake. So now, I've been getting hit up on, oh, you got redhead stuff. Oh, you got redhead stuff. Redhead this, redhead that. You know, uh, selling a lot of males. Still sitting on a lot of females. I'm not sure. The market on redhead is just very unusual to me. Uh, we know that it does crazy stuff, but people don't want to invest. So, said all that to say... Redhead seems to work really good with the dark jeans, and I'm going to show you three snakes real quick that are in the dark jean area and with redhead, and I really like them, and yeah, I just want to show them to you. This is redhead, leopard, yellow belly, and I'm not going to get into what redhead is. If you don't know what it is, go look back 1,500 videos again uh, before this. You can find more redhead stuff that we've done. So, uh, not getting into the basics on redheads. This is going to be the advanced stuff. So, redhead, leopard, and yellow belly. Uh, we are only assuming that this is yellow belly simply based off of the color and the side pattern because normally redhead leopard doesn't quite look like this. And that's just what I believe. So, but a minimum, this is redhead. Leopard, and I'd just about be willing to bet this is going to be yellow belly as well. So, looks really cool. Like, a, looks very different than what the majority of the redhead stuff that you see looks like because leopard is a darker gene. Alright, so next up, we're going to keep going dark with this. This is probably my favorite redhead combo redhead GHI. You know what GHI looks like, you can tell this is probably GHI. But Redhead is giving this a very unusual pattern, which is very unusual for GHI because normally GHI dominates everything. So the fact that Redhead is dominating over Spot Nose and GHI like this is saying that Redhead is going to be a gene to be reckoned with on combos. So really cool, really unique. So the third snake that I'm going to show you is very similar to this. So this snake is also GHI Redhead, but we also added Phantom and Yellow Belly. And I mean, you can see it. Like you, you can tell that this snake and this snake are basically the same thing. So you got GHI and you got Redhead, but the Phantom is giving it this crazy dorsal. Like if you look at GHI Phantom. You can tell that it's very similar to this snake as well. And then the yellow belly is giving this crazy pixelation down the bellies. This guy isn't hep for anything, but he is staying here. And it's groundbreaking what we've done here, what we've created here. And I'm looking, I'm, I mean, I think Redhead has got a huge future here. So, But anyway, I uh, just want to show these out, or show these to you. And uh, let's get to talking about some DG stuff. Alright, so this clutch was Pastel Vanilla 
hypo DG to a fire spot nose pet DG. Uh, we know that fire and vanilla make a cream, and that's what this girl is. So this is a cream. It also got spot nose, which gives it a really unique color pattern, everything. And she is a double hit for DG and Hypo. Uh, probably going to keep this one, but, you know, still up in the air. This one, I actually thought this was visual DG when she hatched. Even after she had her first shed, I thought this was visual DG. But uh, the more I look at it, and the more I compare it to the one I'm fixing to show you, um, I don't think it's visual anymore. I think it's just spot nose, pastel, fire or vanilla, and double head for DG and hypo. So these two are girls, and these two are available. So let's get to the boys. So this one is a visual DG and is either fire or vanilla. And this one is a visual DG and either fire or vanilla. Which one's had the most meals? <laughs> that one. This one. Yep. This little guy here, uh, first of all, he hatched smaller, but he hasn't had uh, any meals on his own yet either. So, But these are both males. Um, this one is available now. He's had three or four meals. He'll be going to Arlington with us and or going up on uh, North Market soon. And then once this guy gets going, he'll be available as well. But... So these are either fire or vanilla. Do you think you could pick out the difference between fire or vanilla? Um, that's fire, that's vanilla. You know what? I have no idea. You know what? <laughs> I just guessed. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, I don't know what they are. Are they kind of like the same thing? Uh, not, not really. really. Okay. Um, I don't want to get into that talk at the moment, but uh, I meant for somebody with like not, not the good, the good eye. Yeah. 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 So both these are 100% uh, hit hypo as well. So, all right, let's get uh, let's get to the cream of the crop here. Oh, you got another? Oh yeah. Okay. The visual girl that is pastel. Look at that head stamp. Spot nose could be fire vanilla. DG. It's a good head stamp. 100% hit for hypo, and she is sold. What? You want to know who got it? You got it. Our good friends, Tiffany and Jeremy at Entwined Oh, Exotics. My neighbors. Yep. In, in case y'all didn't know, uh, w literally, we only live two miles from each other. And then, like, who is it? Uh, Philip Packrass lives like 15 minutes from me. I don't know. I think Philip's moved. I'm not Did sure. he move again? Well, shoot. We all, uh, we all literally live right, right in the same adjacent neighborhoods in the same county. So that's awesome right there. So Jeremy, Tiffany, I touched your snake. Touched your snake. I touched your snake. Yep. Touched so, Sarah's snake last week. Tiffany I, snake. I had to. Uh, I had to go ahead and get these on camera because she's leaving uh, this coming Tuesday. Okay. So, so see you next Tuesday. No, you won't so, see. Me. No, I'm talking about the snake. No. Yeah. I won't see. You. No, you're right. She's gorgeous. I wonder what they're gonna name her. They name all their snakes. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be good. Comment below what you think they're going to name this snake. Hmm. Such a pretty snake. Well, at least she's going to a good home. For sure. All right, I'm going to show you all, uh, since we got a minute, a really cool cypress combo that I've been aiming for for about three years. I've missed it, I've missed it, I've missed it. Finally, we hit one. Ba-bam! Cypress. Look at that. Why has he got dirt on his head? <laughs> so this is a cypress champagne. Oh wow! And not something that's a uh, groundbreaking, I guess I, is a word I could use there. But it is something that I personally just wanted to make. Um, it took a while to do it, but I finally hit one. I think it's pretty. Oh, it's freaking gorgeous! I mean, it's so cool when you get jeans that work good with champagne because then you can add those and get that pattern back yeah because um, my, my champagne's just in, a in champagne just like a khaki so, snake so now we know you know leopard looks good in champagne inchy looks good in champagne uh pinstrap looks good in champagne um you know now we have cypress so you can you know 
you add something like a Cypress uh, MG Leopard, you put that to a Champagne or something like that, give the snake a really crazy look. So, um, yeah, really dope. Pretty excited about it. So. Oh, I like it. It's awesome contrast. Yeah, good job, dude. All right, that's it. That's it for this week. Y'all stay tuned next time. Be out. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics, and make sure you subscribe.